In this video I'm going to go over how to create a flickering light inside Unreal 4. So what I have already is a static mesh of a ceiling light and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click that and I'm going to create a blueprint using it and I'll just save it into my test folder. So in the component section you'll see that I have that static mesh. The next component that we want to add though is a spotlight. So you can see there or you can search for it up here. And I'm going to put that into place. Now already this is a pretty cool feature because if I compile and save this, whenever I drag this um, blueprint in, you can see that it will have not only the static mesh with it, but it will also have the light source that we created in our component section. So it means that whenever you're creating a level, you don't always have to place a static mesh for a light and then a light itself. They can be um, done at the same time through a blueprint. But what we're going to do is with this light component, we're going to make it flicker. So I'm going to go into my graph editor for my blueprint and I am going to right click here and type an event uh, begin. So I'm going to use event begin play. So whenever the level loads up, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a timeline and just going to type in intensity. So whenever we uh, begin our level, we're going to start playing this timeline. So let's double click this timeline and we'll add in a float track. And you can see here I've got values of intensity or just numbers on the left hand side and from the left to right I've got my timeline. To add in a keyframe all you have to do is hold down shift okay and that adds in a keyframe. So if I want a flicker and light I probably should have loads of deep different keyframes that are going up and down in these values. Then I'm not going to go the whole way across I'm just going to use the last keyframe and I'm going to make sure that loop is selected as well. So then I can close that out. Oh, I should probably name this as well. I'll just call this light intensity. Now, if your light intensity track does not appear here, just right click it and just go refresh nodes and it should appear. So then I'm going to get my spotlight, okay, on the left hand side. And I'm going to right click and type in intensity. And make sure you've got contact sensitive on. And I'm just going to get this set intensity. And I'll have my spotlight attached and I'm going to put the update into there. Now the problem with this is that this track is going from uh, 0 to 1, okay? If I go to my components, my light as default is set to 5000. So what we want to do is with this value of light intensity, I'm going to, it's a float track so I should type in float. I'm going to multiply that float by another float and that other float is going to be say 5000. Now if this is too bright um, you can turn this number down, okay? And that's going to plug into my new intensity. So when we play, this is going to play this timeline, which is going to update our intensity through this value, which is going to get multiplied by 5000. So compile and save that. And if I drag my light in now and press play, you can see that it is indeed flickering. 